So if you're looking for a brand new construction home in the Pearland area, right now we're in Alexander Landing. These are D.R. Horton homes. They are building them really fast. There's only one or two streets in this neighborhood right now. And I'm going to be the first one to show you these new homes that are being built. They're not even selling them yet. And as you can tell, we're in the almost the sheetrock stage in this home right now. And nobody can buy it yet. Give me a call and I'll make sure that you're the first one to be notified to buy this home. I'll show you the outside of this home. It's the perfect lot. Nice, nice lot. No back neighbors. And it's right next to the little park that they're building. I'll take you around there too. But for now, let's take a look at this inside of this D.R. Horton home. All right. D.R. Horton, Alexander Landing, Pearland, Texas. This is definitely the home you want right here. Nice, spacious two-story uh, they're going to have a walkway to the park back there. And of course, no back neighbors. Let's go take a look. All right. So as you guys know, I like to start off in the garage. Because there's lots of structural items that I like to look at. And when I say structural. Anytime we see... Um, Actually, I don't see anything up there. I think it's probably doubling up. Anyway, you got uh, two there, two going down to the slab. Transfers the load. And let me show you a really nice one. So um, I'm not sure what to call this yet. I keep seeing them over and over. They're massive. They're, um, they're manufactured, but you'll see they have a bunch of little slivers, more or less, going down these beams. Then it'll compress them really super high pressure. And it'll make these manufactured super strong beams. And that's a great place to have a beam where you don't have any columns. And of course, they tie those up with, uh, with joist hangers. I'm going to show you one right up here. Look at the size of this one. <laughs> that is massive. But look at the span. I mean, it's going to hang your garage door and everything. I like it. So leave in the comments what this is all this right here this is this is new to me i'll find out i'll actually put it in the comments somewhere um, but it has all kind of pressure reliefs um, this is a that's a solenoid motor that opens and closes um, and then of course they have it pressurized um, it, it's obviously water but that's interesting because that's your water coming into your house that's your water line that's your main water cutoff Anyway, I'll find out what that is. Uh, so yeah, so anytime we have uh, plumbing, electrical, anything that you don't want to nail going through in the hanging sheetrock, they got to have the, uh, the nail guards. Of course, that's your um, galvanized pipe gas line, your natural gas line, nail guard there. <laughs> Definitely want that. And this is going to be electrical. Uh, they're probably grounding that gas line that's extremely important by code you have to anything elect or sorry metal um, like that needs to be grounded and that grounds the whole gas line throughout the house and this is your earth ground right here it's basically a, a long piece of a rebar that they stick into the ground and then they clamp it uh, with these ground wire ground wires and that goes right up to up there that's your breaker box. And we're going to want to see a nail guard up there for sure. Yep, nail guard. Um, low voltage chase. Um, basically, your incoming data, like for your uh, your internet uh, or even satellite or whatever, um, comes in through here. Then it goes right up to your data box. But it just gives them a place to, to snake that through. Cool. Here's your tankless water heater. I love it that they put up here in the garage. They masked it. Um, that's the, the, the overflow drain for the water heater. Good. And, of course, they're going to be using PEX plumbing. PEX, um, they don't actually put a name brand on this model of PEX, but you always know it's PEX plumbing. Basically, it's plastic lines, um, um, cold and hot. And they expand just a little bit. They're not impervious to freezing or breaking um, but they do expand a little bit and they even if they still wrap them on an exterior wall um, They won't they probably I don't know if they're gonna put insulation there because this, this is the garage. So they definitely want to wrap those 
This right here, that's your refrigerant line. Uh, your uh, air conditioner compressor probably sits right out there. And the one that's wrapped is gonna be the cold line. The one back here, the copper, that's gonna be your hot line or high pressure. And if you have time, I can explain exactly how that works. I used to actually work on refrigerant systems. It's kind of fun. All right. So I'm going to back you up here. Okay, so we're still in the garage, and that is considered an interior wall, even though it's in the garage. Exterior, exterior walls go around the perimeter of the house, if that makes sense. So this is still an interior wall, but because it's OSB, I'll tell you what it is. Oriented strand board. That's some really good stuff for um, making a strong wall. You don't want to get it wet for sure, but because they keep it interior, uh, it's very, very strong. And it's what's called a shear wall if it's if it's on the inside of the house. Yeah, um, so uh, since this home is has the insulation in, I can't show you everything inside the walls. I wanted to show you how well that they bolt the, the shear walls in. Um, I can maybe poke my hand in there, but I do know uh, I just walked another D.R. Horton home just, just uh, down the street. And uh, on, on the shear walls, they'll they'll put uh, anchors on the probably the corners and then they'll shoot them into the ground, uh, into the into the concrete to make that thing super, super strong. All right, let's spin you around and take a look at the house. Okay, so I did find a shear wall that I can show you. It doesn't need to be insulated because it's interior. So I was mistaken. I can't find one. So we're going to have anchors right here. I'll give you a better shot. Corner anchors right there. And then they shoot it. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Nice. Here's your utility room. So I'm going to find out what these extra things are. Um, watch my other video. I might have explained it. Um, I think I know what it is. But anyway, these are uh, this is your washer and dryer, by the way. And of course, your pegs plumbing, uh, your water line coming in. That's going to be cold. That's going to be hot. It goes in here. But they bump these up here, cap them. And I think it's to create uh, knocking when you turn the water on and off or when the washing machine, it turns it on really fast and turns it off really, really fast. Uh, I think it's just to help stop uh, banging. There it is. I was looking for that word. Uh, it stops banging in the water lines. I'll look that up. I'm pretty sure that's what that is, but I haven't seen that before. So we're actually learning it together. Uh, drain lines, um, the nail guards there. There's your dryer vent. And nail guards there. Looks good. A quick look at your kitchen. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Nice open area. Yeah, guys, I'll have to find out that this home has already been bought. It's really, it's got a fire suppression system in the entire house. They normally don't put those in. Uh, yeah, so your, um, that's where they hang your cabinets. And these are not structural going this way or that way. They just need a place to put a, a screw to hang your cabinets. Um, lots of structural. Anytime you see more than, more than one, um, you're going to have a load-bearing beam right above us, right there. And then it gets hung on that major uh, manufactured beam, like it. There's your, your island kitchen. Huge walk-in pantry. Look at this. Wow. Pretty cool. Now that fire suppression system is something else. I'll have to look into that. Um, but we're walking over to the master bedroom and I love this floor plan because everything's separated. There's nothing on this side of the house except for the master bedroom, the master closets, the bathroom and all that stuff. And then everything else is upstairs. So let me spin you around. It's really cool. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're just walking here. So the entire master bedroom space, is completely taking up the entire side of the house. And you guys, I know I'm talking, but did you notice how quiet it just got? That's because I'm in a corner that has all this insulation. Then we have insulation up there. And look, there's your fire suppression up there. There's another one. 
So walking into your master bathroom. I am loving this floor plan. That's going to be a nice window for light. Stand up shower. Being around here. So double sinks. And your hot and cold PEX plumbing. Goes up. And nail guard, nail guard, nail guard, nail guard. And fire suppression. That big orange line right there. That's It's water. It's fire suppression. Have double sinks. And see the construction manager has came out here and they've made some corrections. Um, right before they hang the sheetrock, even though they have the sheetrock dropped, um, you're going to see a lot of corrections. And they'll come in and they'll fix everything perfect before they hang the sheetrock. That's what you want. So we have, uh, there's your commode over here. And this is your master closet. Yeah, so that, that's your data lines. We were talking um, back in the garage where they dropped those. And that's your low voltage data right there. And that runs, uh, this is where your data box is. And that runs to all the rooms for your Cat5 and whatnot. Your internet. Uh, sorry, guys, this is kind of a long video, but it is a two-story. Um, I wanted to take you upstairs um, and just to see what we can find out. All right, let me spin you around. Okay, so I'm liking it. I'll do this from here. Um, large span. So you get three there. You're going to have three going down. You have two there. So you're going to have two going down. That's good. Um, on the top, the, the the shiny material on the roof decking, the shingles go on the other side. That's called tech shield. Um, it's a heat radiant barrier that helps keep a little bit of the heat um, out of the attic to keep your air conditioners and basically your house a little bit cooler. But it keeps your attic a little bit cooler. And with these baffles here, that's your soffit vents. The air comes in, and then it goes out what we call, uh, I guess some people call it air hawks. And sometimes they'll put a ridge vent on top. Depends on the roof structure or the design. Um, sometimes they can't, oops, sorry. Sometimes they can't put a, uh, a ridge vent. All right, so I hope that was educational for you guys. It's uh, James Batenza, your Houston New Home Realtor. Let me be your exclusive buyer's agent anywhere for the Pearland area or even Houston. Uh, look me up and I'll help you out, uh, get you in one of these Deer Horton homes in Pearland. Uh, they're going to be selling quick. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified of any time I put out a new construction video in town. Uh, you'll be the most educated home buyer and uh, subscribe so you don't miss a single thing. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.